If you've been wondering what focal range to use for your portraits, today we're going to test out from a wide range to a telephoto range to see which one is the best. Trying to find the best lens for portraits sometimes can be hard because you can want to shoot primes or maybe zoom lenses. And for me, to be honest, I've been gearing more into the zoom range and I wanted to go ahead and show you the focal ranges between some zoom lenses that I have to see if you can pick the right one for you if you're wanting to go with the prime lens or if you're trying to find a zoom range type of lens. It could help you out to see which one would be the best for you. For the wide range, I'm considering using the 17 to 50, mainly because you have the 17, 20, 24, and even the 28 is good enough with the wide. For the mid range, we're gonna go more from the 35 to the 85, and then from there on, we'll go for the telephoto range, going from the 100 and above. And nothing like doing portraits here in a nice parking garage so we can have some nice symmetry. So we're gonna go ahead first with the wide range. I always wanna give my models a little bit of an example of what I'm looking for in the posing section. That way they have a little bit of an idea what they can start doing and feel more comfortable just experimenting. This is something that I try to do with my wife in this photo shoot set because I wanted her to try something different and I wanted to also experiment with different poses and you know frames because we're shooting at a more wider range. Having to shoot from the 17 to the 28 millimeter range, you know, you have to get more artsy. So we're gonna be doing a little bit more now of the mid range, which is gonna be about kind of like the 35 to the 85 range, just to showcase a little bit more using the Tamron 35 to 150, because it has a nice, you know, compression with the 85 still, but we're not going yet to the telephoto range. But that way you can see some examples with this range. Getting the mid range is always nice because you get that 35 millimeter all the way to the 85. A lot of the times I shoot more 35 or 85, but the nifty 50 can be great too, but mainly I kept it at the 35 and 85 for these portraits. And then going with this wall just to have that compression to do a little bit of a full body while crouching, but also getting a little bit closer with her just to take some up close and portraits, you know, style. I think it adds a lot of variation when shooting with that mid range just to get different perspectives. Now we're gonna do a little bit more on the telephoto range with the 100 all the way to the 150, taking some portraits in this section. Shooting portraits with a more telephoto range like the 100, 135, or the 150, especially with this Tamron 35 to 150, is very cool to do because you get that nice compression. It's just a little bit harder sometimes depending on the model, but it's always nice to have that distancing with them so you have the compression, but also they don't feel like the camera's right in their face. For me, it makes it a lot nicer to just experiment with the different variations of a little bit farther up, but then also close up like these to get some nice photos. Well, we're done with the photos going all the way from a wide range to the telephoto range when it comes down to these portraits. Which one was your favorite range and why? I would love to know your thoughts down below, so make sure to leave a comment. For me personally, I love the 35 to the 85 range the most when it comes down to portraits, especially the 35 range into that mid-range style of kind of for portraits is always a sweet spot for me because 35 you can do quite a bit with, the nifty 50 section is nice, and also the 85 with the compression. If you have a lens that has that kind of range, maybe like a 28 to 75 from Tamron is a really good range kind of to have, or obviously if you wanna go with something bigger like the 35 to 150. For me personally, a little bit of the wider range is more of a art type base portrait. It's not so much like this type that you would have every single time that you would wanna do portraits. So. Having that focal range for me personally, it's a little bit harder to justify getting just a wide range type of lens if you're doing portraits. If you're doing other stuff or you need a, kind of like a one-stop shop, obviously a, a lens like the 17 to 50 F4 is good for that. Or if you can find something like a 16 to 35, that way you get the 35 range as well, but you can get an F2.8. And when you go into the more telephoto range of things, it gets a little bit more tricky to be able to get certain types of portraits because it's going to be where you're gonna be up close and personal in the sense of the focal range while you're so far back. It's not a bad thing because maybe some people might feel a little bit less, you know, stressed out with the camera because most of the time, if you have a camera in their face when you're taking the portraits, they might not feel so enticed to, you know, pose or anything, especially if they're not used to it. 
So the reason why I think like that telephoto range could be great for your portraits is if you're not wanting to feel like you're so invasive of the model or the person posing for the portraits. So that could be something. Plus the, the compression of those is pretty quite nice. And something with the compression of telephoto, you know, lenses has always been enticing to me, but just for an overall lens, it's hard to justify when it comes down to just for portraits. But yeah, for me personally, the mid range from the 35 to the 85 is kind of the sweet spot for me but maybe it's the same thing for you, maybe not. I would love to know your thoughts. Like I said, always good to share those you know, thoughts on your end and we can have a nice little discussion. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.